Yes, I have a knight. A lovely knight. He seems buxom and handsome. Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm leveling up my magic because I have to. Because it's the only way I'm going to beat this game at the moment until I've actually leveled up to a suitable condition. But, you know. Ooh, little animals trying to eat me. For those of you who haven't played this game or haven't seen episode one, I suggest you go back and watch it. Because this is Nerd Genius Presents Castle Crashes. And it is season three of my Let's Plays. And yes, as you can tell at the moment, the uh, picture looks a bit off. The reason behind that is because of my Roxio GamerCap software. So um, what I'm going to attempt to do is resolve that issue because it's fucking annoying and it does my fucking head in. But, hmm. And uh, so we're going to try and sort that out. So how are you this lovely Sunday? Because this is Sunday, it probably will be uploaded by Monday, but it is Sunday, so as it is. Ooh, look, there's a big thief that I need to beat up because he chucked me like I'm a fucking ragdoll. And I'm uh, firing all my magic on him, it's the only way to beat this guy. Look at that beauty little knight, he, he's gonna be joining. So let's uh, see how this goes. Has anyone watched uh, WWE War this week? Saw the confrontation between John Cena and The Rock, it was amazing. Ooh, now I level up. Did I just say John Cena and Rock? I meant John Cena and Brock Lesnar. Whoopsie! Um, it was a fun, fun occasion. It's something that I wished happened during the Rock and John Cena storyline. You know, where they just went at it and just pound for pound beat the living crap out of each other. Because that's what people wanted to see. I understand there's building tension and there's literally delaying the inevitable. And seriously, the WWE were delaying. It got to the point where I just got sick and fucking tired of it. But, you know, with Lesnar, there's hope. And they're, you know, building it up to uh, the uh, Extreme Rules pay-per-view. So we'll see how that one goes. And uh, a sh cheap, shameless plug. Go to my site, www.nerdgenius.com Where you can read loads of my little blogs about stuff. Um, today I'm going to have a blog up about community. The awesomeness, that is community of course. Because it's a great little show. It's uh, managed to do a heck of a lot for the comedy genre. It uses a uh, meta humour. And... Um, has a lot of amazing little characters in it. It's based on a community college and it's literally hilarious. The hilarity has no end. And for those of you who don't understand my British accent, I'm sorry. I could always put on my American accent, but it's not that great. So until I get more uh, language lessons, you have to listen to me like this in the Queen's English, the way it was meant to be spoken. looking at me that way. Ooh, plenty of fruit. You see, that's not enough that a knight needs in his diet. He hasn't got enough fruit. It's gonna make me poo. Another one. Right, sorry Mr. Birdie, I don't want you. I know you give me loads of fruit and stuff, but I don't want what's good for me. I want something that can breathe fireballs and kill my enemies in a single go. And that is Mr. Dragon over here. Which I'll be facing his twin later on, who has a sock puppet. Which is classic. A dragon with a sock puppet. Come on, you are going to die. As you can tell here, I'm destroying every single one of these little thieves, apart from the ones that are literally pissing me off. Yeah, the one thing I hate about them is they have these bloody firing arrows and they just keep shooting them at you. So even if you're actually getting direct hits from your, like, slashing, shall I say, and for you British people I don't mean taking a piss, they still manage to get you with their bow and arrows. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I'm hot on their trail. No, look, there's a bush. Oh, no, it's not a bush, it's a thief. 
Die, you thief person, you. Die. And burn with the dragon's flames. Oh, the noise. And it's making the owl poop. All over me. Mmm, poo shower. Yes, that's really nice. Have you ever had a poo shower? No? You don't know what you're missing. Actually, I've never had a poo shower in person, but you know. Sick people. Honestly, you listen to my poo rants. And here's another cheap, shameless plug. Go to www.smarkoutmoments.com or the Smark Out Moment YouTube channel to uh, listen to this week's Smack Talk podcast with myself, Tony Mango, Braden Mayhew and Chris Dace, where Chris Dace does his lovely impression of Dusty Rhodes. It's literally spot on. It's amazing. And then sings Dusty Rhodes' theme um, in Dusty Rhodes' voice. It's, it's brilliant. It, it's that type of comedy where you literally will be laughing your ass off. Every viewer who viewed that video thought it was amazing. And um, episode two of Rewriting the Books will be up sooner or later. Well, literally in two weeks. And that will be hosted by Tony Mango. Um, so check out for that. And I'm thinking of doing a uh, political vlog. I haven't decided what. What I want to do because I'm, I'm kind of um, too late about the mayoral election, so I'm going to do some studying on that and get back to you guys and, and try and put it into a, into a sort of a simplistic viewpoint. Because you know, I, I find that a lot of people are attempting to ignore politics, and that's just the wrong thing to do. Because without a um, actual number of people voting kind of getting into a bit of a situation. <gasps> oh, boo! He took off like a jet engine there. That was amazing. Ah, and we've got another animal orb. Um, so yeah, you know, the, the political vlog is something that I want to do, but I haven't decided on the name yet. If you uh, want to put a name together for me and help me name the show, that would be brilliant, but I haven't I haven't decided yet what to call it and it's it's literally something that I want to do because I find that not enough people are voting and you know it if you're gonna if you want to make a difference in today's society and you're fed up of people taking the piss out of you you've got to vote because there's no you know especially when you get morons in power and you sit there and go who voted for that guy well, you didn't vote, so of course that's part of the reason why that no that bloody moron is in power. So hmm. that's that's something that happens, and it's a, it, it's sort of a, a system that that demands society to to actually take part in it. And you want to feel like you're doing something, really, because. You know, especially in the UK, most of us didn't vote and we ended up with a bit of a conflict between the Conservatives and Labour and who we actually wanted in power. So um, we gave the Liberal Democrats that choice and what did they do? Yep, they fucked it up by getting in bed with the Tories. And then they decided they wanted to just basically take away everything from everybody. So it left everybody in a bigger shit than they were in before. So, you know, it's not really... Uh, a great thing to do, but enough about politics. I've got a big hammer. <gasps> There's a bear. And he's shitting. Oh yeah, pooping. That pooping bear. That'd be amazing. Reminds me of that scene in Super Troopers. Has anyone seen that film? Where the guy is literally um, pretending to have sex with a bear. He's like trying to cause a bit of a disturbance. I think, I think he's causing a um, a bit of a purposely portrayed disturbance in order to uh, create a, uh, a diversion for um, his other friends. And it's hilarious. He just looks like he's shagging his bear up the jacksie. 
and all you hear is the bear going, if you haven't seen it, watch it. It's, it's funny. It's a funny film. And by the way, those of you who are watching this video, leave a comment, like this video, and subscribe because if you don't, then you won't have a chance to win the 2100 Xbox Live points, aka Microsoft points, or a £20 PSN voucher. So if you don't like, comment, and subscribe, then you're not going to have a chance to win. And I will see who's actually interacting with these videos the most. If you basically get in there and start, you know, talking about these videos and um, subscribing to the channel, you'll be able to actually be in a chance to win these things and ask our past winner, Hellwares. He um, managed to win 2,100 Microsoft points from our Simpsons competition from season two. And he was very grateful. And I was very happy that he was very grateful because I, you know, because he participated, he he got it. And he came up with a cracking line as well. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to Simpsons episodes in uh, season two. I think it was season two, episode two, where he says, press any key, where's the any key? Brilliant, brilliant phrase. Made me laugh out loud. And I'm in trouble. Things. You see, this is what I'm talking about. These thieves just come at you from nowhere and you end up basically dying. It's fucking annoying. Come on. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. I might have to go back to the castle and get some more potion. Ugh. Well, it looks like I'm dead and buried, guys, so uh, see you in episode three.